rolling. Hello. So, I gotta say, quite honestly, that this idea of the self-interview, I find a bizarre kind of contemporary phenomenon that people would sit in their rooms alone and talk to themselves for the express purpose of uploading it onto this platform we call YouTube, you know, thereby setting themselves up for random consumption and assessment by others all over the world at any given time. But that aside, I have, I'm interviewing myself right now, undertaking the self-interview for the express purpose of participation in superpower. And superpower, I think, is a cool project because of the very idea of superpower, which I think is loaded and rich with um, kind of historical and social uh, associations. And this idea of the many and the relationship of the idea of superpower and the many, which I think, at least in this context, go together like peanut butter and jelly. Yummy. So superpower, when we think of superpower, one word superpower, we think of China, we think of um, the United States of America, we think of a nation state that has um, accrued enough power and a kind of status to orchestrate affairs for their own betterment. Um, when we think of superpower, we think of also this idea of Marvel Comics. We think of Wolverine, we think of Storm, we think of somewhat human kind of fictive, invented creatures that are consistently overcoming um, the odds and maximizing themselves thereby, um, while at the same time magically possessing some kind of superhuman power that uh, allows them to do so. Um, which to me is also kind of an interesting tradition of thought when we think of the kind of hyper-individualist, kind of capitalist context that these stories um, and these narratives emerged in. And that we are now um, kind of a historical outgrowth of that in a way. I mean, individuals have never been more individual than they are now. Um, and when we talk about individualization and the individual, this idea of the many comes up, um, where the many is usually, you know, talked about uh, by these kind of sexy philosopher theorist people as um, something that we should put in opposition to the people, where the people have historically been unified under a nation state and can be considered one, you know, we the people, we are a we, the people are in some way having this we experience of, of peopleness together. Whereas the many, I think, um, a multiplicity, a plurality, retains an individuality that I think is lost when we talk about a group or a community as a people. The many um, always refers to the individual, and the individual almost always refers to himself, in a way, through others. Um, but the individual is almost, it, well, in a lot of cases, um, more self-referential than ever, I think. And so the, the power structure that superpower as a platform sets up, I think, very much hinges on this idea of the many. And even when we think about a hero, you know, this idea of the kind of modernist hero, I think, is in a large way dead. Um, and that we are all post the kind of empowerment uh, movements that are now behind us in, in the 60s and 70s. Everyone is now kind of their own hero or everyone can self-maximize in this kind of unhindered way. And superpower as a platform, I think, plays into this, this diffusion of power. It plays into this um, almost like a, a, a kind of tradition of self-empowerment in, in the very kind of 
openness of who can participate and who can't, and in what ways people can participate. And this, there's an experience of empowerment that comes with that openness and that comes with that sharing. I think a lot of what superpower is about is what the give and the take is, the giving and the taking of power, not just one person having it and orchestrating the whole thing. Um, and this may sound somewhat kind of utopic in tone, everything I'm saying, my little self-interview about what superpower means to me. It may sound a little utopic, but why not invoke utopia? I mean, what's so dangerous in that? I feel like many artists, or some artists, let's not totalize, I feel like some artists in some places have often, or sometimes, been concerned with utopia. And Utopia has a lot to do with power. It has a lot to do with ideas of what supa is, what can be supa, what can be superer. Um, you know, maybe in a way that's what this platform is putting forth, you know? Maybe that's what superpower is all about. Do -do 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 -do. Um, no, maybe not. So. I guess I've uh, overcome my cynical neo luddite tendencies in doing this self-interview, and I'm kind of happy that I did, and yay, superpower. <laughs>